Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Francisca Elmer and I'm a marine biologist and I'm one of the mentors for the International Climate Action Challenge. Today I want to talk to you about um, science communication and education. I was a teacher in marine biology, um, actually a lecturer um, at a study abroad school and every semester I would teach a lecture on climate change. And my lecturer before me made this presentation which had a lot of graphs about how different animals are affected by climate change, how their skeleton dissolves faster at different ocean acidification points. And finally, when I changed schools, the lecture before me there had a very similar presentation as well, with almost the same graphs. I didn't like um, that presentation much. Um, it was always one of the most boring presentations I was giving. It was boring to me, it was boring to the students, and normally it was a rather engaging course. So last year I had enough. The climate crisis was way more important than graphs about um, brittle stars losing their skeleton. I revamped the whole presentation and made it about the climate crisis. I told them what's happening and happening at 1.5 degrees and at 2 degrees and told them what's happening to our coral reefs that if we surpass 1.5 degrees we will likely lose them. So we really can't. And then I asked my students who wants to become a coral reef scientist. A lot of hands went up. Of course they wanted to do that. That's why they took this semester abroad. That's why they came to the Caribbean to learn how to dive and to learn how to do underwater research. So I showed them the website of the climate clock. It's a clock ticking down um, until we reach 1.5 degrees. And I told them, this is how long you got until we, our reefs are in trouble and we can't do anything against them. Where will you be in your career? And how much will you have done to stop this? This really woke them up. And it showed me that how you communicate something is super important. Yes, you need to know your facts, but you have to talk about the facts from your heart, not from your brain. If you want to reach people, you have to connect with them on a personal level and talk to them about what's happening in, th in things that they care about personally, and you will make an impact. So during this challenge, you may have the desire or the need to communicate with your participants, with your volunteers, with people on the street, with um, citizens. And how you communicate is crucial. I have done a lot of work trying to become a better communicator, a better speaker, um, good at doing communication on social media, educational social media, and I would like to share that with you. So whether it is um, to make an Instagram account or occasional Instagram posts or other social media, whether you want to make a blog, a podcast, you want to give talks, um, you want to write in the newspaper, you need to know how to connect to people to have a big impact. And I want to help you with this in the challenge. Um, so one thing you have to do is make sure you know your facts. We don't want to spread fake news. So being able to read scientific literature or articles that are based on it is key. And as a scientist, I can help you with this. Or... Um, I can help you find people that do this because you may need a new team member um, if you want to do this kind of stuff. I'm also an expert in marine sciences so anything related to that or climate change ask me and I probably already know which resources you should read. 
Second of all, you really have to think about who is your audience. You can't just have everybody in the world as your audience. It helps to narrow it down and make a video specifically for your audience. For example, um, a few weeks back I took part of a Coral Reefs um, conference, which by the way I also organized myself, but I submitted a video about how coral reef scientists can do more action. And I presented what kind of actions we already do from a little survey I did. And I made it very personable. I compared the actions we made to how corals work. So really coral reef scientists were um, inspired by it and actually knew that they were the audience. I also had a bunch of coral reef scientists interviewed so I had them send in clips for me to in put into the video and that really helped to connect the audience to itself so you need to know your audience you need to know your facts and then you have to find a way to connect to your audience so where do you have something in common you and your audience and why what about that makes you care about your issue? Whether it's plastic pollution or climate change, why do you care about this? I, for example, are a skier and I care about climate change because when I'm um, retired, I would still like to ski in Switzerland, where I'm from. So that's something I can connect to with other skiers. I don't have to tell them about the um, the forests in um, the Amazon burning down. I have to tell them about what's happening here to our hobby. Um, so what do you what do you need to do to start a 90 days challenge? First of all, you need to register on um, climateactionchallenge.net. Um, next thing you need to do is you need to start a team if you don't have one yet. And then if you need help with communication, whether or not it's your main challenge or just something you do as part of your challenge, then you can find me on the portal under um, the science or climate communication group and also in the marine conservation group. I'm really looking forward to your projects and hope to help you with them.